Faith and I are now quite interestingly following some bear tracks. That bear stopped and stared at us. That was close. That was really close. Columbia hired two people to test gear in the most extreme conditions on Earth. These are those people. The Directors of Toughness. We're on a big old Russian helicopter right now. It's been loaded and packed with all of our gear. We're on our way here and just see everything's green and then there are little dirt roads and rivers, then the roads kind of fade away. The river just goes on forever and we're getting further and further and further away from civilization. Uh, the closest you'll find to a road out here is bear tracks. Pretty out there, huh? This is so surreal. This is really surreal. I just can't even believe it. The last road I saw was so long miles ago. I mean, I mean like a hundred 200 miles away. It's now pretty much time to say goodbye to the helicopter. Yeah. And then we uh, are here. The next five days, we're going to be heading about 30 kilometers downstream, fishing as we go, setting up a new camp each night uh, until we reach what they've called base camp, which is where the helicopter will come back out and pick us up. This is some of the best freshwater fishing on the planet. Anyone who fly fishes that I'm telling them coming to Kamchatka just loses their mind. Being here actually is kind of bittersweet. The whole time I'm uh, kind of very aware that this is our last testing mission with Columbia uh, as their director of toughness, so feeling a bit nostalgic, but um, epic start to the trip. We saw lots of big brown bear as we were flying in, and even now as I stand here talking to you, just over on that hill, maybe 200 meters away, there are three brown bears. Luckily, we're not out here fending out the bears by ourselves. We've got three awesome guides with us. Dima, he just knows the river and the fish behavior so well. Then got Nikita, he's a young guy, and uh, yeah, he seems to be quite a lot of fun as well. And then there's the 61-year-old action man, Anatoly, and his faithful dog, Alpha, and she should be a deterrent and keep the bears away from camp. So the idea today uh, is that we're gonna float down maybe five or 10 kilometers uh, on the river, try and catch some fish. Our anglers told me that the Kamchatka fishing is the best fish in the world. The main reason is that we do not overfish the river. Our rainbow trout, it, you don't need to have something special. You just need to put something to the water in the right place uh, at the right time. But the fish is really strong, so it's not easy to land it. Had a few bites, but um, haven't managed to land anything yet. They've all released. Got the fish on. It's a big rainbow. Really big, really nice, and you see it's really healthy fish. It's fat because there is enough food in the water. Good job! Thank you! <laughs> good fish, good water, good weather, everything yeah. is great. Let's find yeah. some more. Just hooked up a salmon under the tree here. There's like three or four of them. There's a lot of big salmon in this river uh, and they're currently working their way upstream to spawn and then once they've spawned they will die. So we're not really here trying to catch salmon, uh, although inevitably you're going to catch some. It's so uh. big! <laughs> One of the upsides to catching so many salmon is, is that our guides, the Russians here, took some of the eggs from one of the salmon, which is called roe, and they're now going to give us caviar and vodka by the riverside. As on the Russian tradition, we drink the whole shot and cucumber with rope. Wow. Cheers! Cool. Here we have some typical Kamchatka weather. Windy, cloudy, chilly, nice. <laughs> this is typical Kamchatka weather. Just hooked into uh, my first rainbow. Hopefully I'm about to land what we came here for. 
There's no better feeling really than trying to get one of these guys in. Once you get the trout on the line, that's only really uh, the start of the battle. These guys like to run, they like to fight. When you're fly fishing, the gear is pretty light and these fish out here are particularly big, so there's a real art to playing these fish and landing these fish. Well, the weather finally turned here in Kamchatka. It is raining, but that's not stopped us. It's still amazing fishing. I think this counts as pouring rain. <laughs> How's it tent, Mark? So, that's camp. I'm pretty pleased to be dry inside my tent right now. More fishing tomorrow. The weather's clearing up. The sun's trying to come out. And Faith and I are now quite interestingly following some bear tracks right now. It makes our going a little bit easier, but um, also kind of daunting the fact that there are definitely bears in this area. That was crazy. <laughs> like that bear stopped and stared at us for a minute. When I first heard about coming to Kamchatka, I knew about the bear situation out here, which is that there are just thousands of bears. What I never expected was that I would be standing in the same river. We're out here fishing, and the bears are out here fishing as well. They don't mind us doing our thing, and we don't mind them doing their thing, and it's quite amazing that we can be in such close proximity. I never imagined that I'd be in a place like this. Never in my life. I'm in the best science class in the world. This is just insane, huh? This place is unbelievable. Fly fishing from Chaka. It's some people's dream, but it's something I never would have imagined. It's so remote, it's so out there. We are so far away from anybody or anything else out here and really I think that that makes it one of the most extreme environments that we've been to. There's nothing I can compare it with. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. There's so many shades of green. There's bears everywhere. There's salmon everywhere. Like life cycles are happening. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. We got one full day left on the river. We literally just got in the water and got our first trout, 21 inch rainbow. So pretty excited about where we are. Once we moved further down the river, they just started flowing and you couldn't help but look around and see people pulling trout out of the water. So it was quite a good feeling that everyone was really getting into what we came here for. <laughs> well, this is kind of it. Tomorrow morning a helicopter comes and picks us up. We head back to Alaska and back to Portland and after that, we're no longer the directors of toughness. Yeah, this is it. It's just, it's absolutely flown by. For the last nine months, uh, Faith and I have been traveling the world to test Columbia gear in some of the most extreme conditions on the planet. Probably the most incredible nine months of my life. Mark and I have learned so much about each other, traveled all around the world, met all these people, shared so much. With the right gear and the right planning, we've been able to achieve some things that I never even dreamt were possible. We've gone from desert to jungle, rainforest to snow and ice. There's been survival, there's been tears, there's been frustration, there's been pain along the way as well. I've been pushing my own limits quite a bit. 
on rivers, on mountains, on glaciers. I've gone on my longest bike ride. I caught the biggest fish of my life. I've driven. <laughs> there are times where I would have felt that it was impossible for us to survive or us to be comfortable outside. And the reality is we just kept going. And not only that, we also enjoyed being out there. The most incredible thing to me has been meeting people who want to share their passions. From the first trip, I realized, I was like, wow, people don't really get to do brand new things that often. Faith and I are not professional athletes. We're not hugely experienced. We're just normal people that have had this amazing opportunity. There's definitely barriers, I think, that we put up as individuals as to reasons why we can't do things. And there's one thing this experience has shown me is that you can break down those barriers. We've seen each other at some of our best moments and at some of our worst moments. We've seen each other push through crazy barriers, both mentally and physically. We've seen each other do things that we didn't think either of us would do. Thanks for rooting for us in the rough moments and celebrating with us in some of our triumphs. We've grown a lot and we've had an incredible, incredible adventure testing gear with Columbia Sportswear.